The BBC follow bunker, a doomsday story. When the bombs fell and the four minute warning went out into Britain and there was a panic hitting the streets, the BBC heads was led into the government follow bunker. There was a couple of free spaces left in there. People started to draw lots for the three spaces, but the BBC executives agreed to give them to three young women for their sexual favors. One of them was an intern called Lucy Wintz. They all went into the basement at the broadcasting house and everyone left above was cursing their names. And that was the first time the bunker door closed. It all started going wrong. The bunker was built in the 60s and the equipment was old and busted up. Their air supply started to run out and people started getting ill. One by one they began to die. And one day, two of the young girls were found stabbed. That's when Lucy investigated it. And she found out the murderers to be two executives of the BBC. She and some others kicked them out of the bunker naked and nothing to their name. She took over the bunker from then on. She and some others went into the ruins of London to fix the bunker up and to get supplies for everyone. And then on, she became the voice of BBC in the now fallout world.